quite good, by the way. So, in general, how would you describe the album with only two words? Um, you know, I've, I've recorded and released quite a few records over the years, and, but this, this, this particular record is, um, it's, it's, for me, it's, it's like a punk rock record. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, um, maybe, maybe not a punk rock record. Oh, great. So, how did this lineup of the Low Desert Punk Band came together? Did you choose the musicians personally? Uh, I did, yeah. I, um, you know, to, to kind of uh, flesh out what I just described, um, I wanted to assemble a band that could totally represent um, this, this concept of, of like returning to roots, you know. Um, and so, like, it was important that uh, the guys not only could obviously execute the music, but also important enough just to be able to, like, understand where the music's coming from, you know, like, where they, all these guys have punk rock roots as well. We all came up in the same era, and um, we're all friends, you know. We're like a gang. We're a gang of guys that, that are actually true friends. Yeah, years and years of, of friendship and understanding, and so the music, the music is was performed and is being performed um, by guys who fully understand what it is and why we're doing it. So it, it just gives it that extra power. You know? <laughs> Good, you know, as you mentioned, the album has a, a pan rock vibe in spirit, but uh, sounding wise, it sounds like a, a mix with stoner blues and a kind of a doomy sound, you know. So, would you say that there is something else that we cannot catch as listeners in in the mix? Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, like the you know, when I say punk rock, I, I like I said, I don't I don't necessarily identify punk rock with any particular uh, sound. I mean, yeah. You know, and then the same same with rock and roll or, or I mean, we're talking about rock and roll music um, or rock music that has that has evolved um, and, and, and it's just really evolved over the years, you know, and it evolved everything, you know, um, from the birth of rock and roll till now. I mean, think about all the music that is, has, has been involved in, in the genre of, of rock and roll like uh, blues and jazz and heavy rock and all the stuff and funk and, and I, I, I incorporate it all. Yeah. I think there's some, some blues in my music, there's funk, there's jazz, there's, there's you know, rock, rock and roll, punk, whatever. But that's why to me, you know, I just call it the blues and punk band. It's like a punk rock band to me, like it's just, um, you know, that's the, that's the, the root of my myself as an, art, as an artist. Yeah. And so it's almost like it's almost more about what it represents creatively and artistically. Because whatever it is musically, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know myself, so I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> okay, so what's the challenge for you to well to put all these influences on all these that you are yourself in your album and try to make it sound coherent? No, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it was easy, but but it's not difficult for me. You know, it's it's something that I've been doing my whole life, and you know, and I internalize the world. I'm, I'm an introvert, and so I'm constantly internalizing my my experience in the world, and, and music is how I how I get it out, and it just flows out of me. Yeah, um, and really, it just comes out in in its own way, and I think when it comes out, it comes out, like I said, it comes out swinging jazz and some blues and some funk and some rock, because
is I'm, I'm internalizing all those kinds of music as well. I mean, I listen to a lot of jazz and punk and rock. So, so when music comes out of me, it, 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 so I guess it's only natural that it would have all of those ingredients. You know? Yeah. Totally, and you know you also have Mr. Chino with with all your friends. And do you think that uh, well, you need to separate the, your style of playing with with Sachino when you are playing in your solo project, or is it something that you cannot separate from from you? Yeah, everything that I do is is um, for me on every level. It's, it's its own entity, separate. You know, I mean, this music. This band, uh, these songs, these words don't have anything to do with Mr. Chino. And the same with Mr. Chino. It's its own entity. And um, uh, again, part of that is, is um, I, I navigate it that way, but also part of it is it's just naturally that way. I mean, if I, if I go to write a, you know, a Mr. Chino record, um, Really, it's kind of natural. This Chino music just kind of would come out of me. Yeah. But when it's time to return to my solo work, um, it's, it's interesting how it just I, I open up the, the door. 